On August 18th of 2011, most of us met for the first time. It was during that first day of your high school years and in the first and fourth periods of freshman physics. Now, I know it was four years ago, but I wonder if you can remember some of the specifics of what began in that first class on that first day and throughout the first year of your high school lives. Valley Lutheran's theme verse from the 2011 and 2012 year was Romans 12, 2. Now, I'm sure you're good students. Some of you can still quote it from memory. It reads, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Now, for a school verse, this is uh, not out of the ordinary, this verse. Uh, the importance of education is clearly written in its 37 words, and every class at Valley has sought to help you in renewing your mind through study. Now, perhaps as you think back and remember the specifics in your classes at Valley, you can see, in hindsight, how God has led you, how your interests have been piqued, how progress has been made, or maybe how you've deviated from God's will. You may not even see the many and various ways that you've been guided, but whatever you see, when you look back on your four years of high school, no matter who you are from the class of 2015, whichever seat you're currently sitting in watching this video, you are here now in your graduation ceremony. Some of you met me during your first class of high school. Now, during your last formal event, we meet again. But for the last two years, I have heard mostly silence. Today, I know so very little about who you have become. Your past grades are unknown to me. Any accomplishments or accolades of yours have passed by me like a quiet wind. And the roaring cheers that I know existed at all the games, at all the races, the choir concerts, and all the plays, well, they've lost their, their gusto on their way over here. So before you graduate, before you shake all of the congratulatory hands, answer in your hearts these two questions for me. Have you been transformed? Will you continue to renew your mind? Whatever your answers are to those two questions, even if you weren't someone that I met four years ago, I want to congratulate all of you. I wish all of you the best. Please accept my congratulations on your many achievements, and may God bless you in abundance.